The Tigers bats have come alive and with their recent offensive surge comes an impressive string of wins. In fact, over the past 10 days, Detroit is 8-1, scoring 56 runs over that particular span. But tonight, that wasn't the case, as their bats cooled off when they welcomed the Minnesota Twins to town. After a short rain delay, the clouds parted, and the teams took to the field for a beautiful night at Comerica Park. Justin Verlander searching for his fifth win of the season. Top of the first, Nick Castellano is going to make a play, the type of play you'd like to see on SportsCenter. Da -da -da. Na, na, na. All right, top of the third. Runners on the corners. Verlander's in trouble, and guess who? Nick Castellanos. He's going to help him out. Throws out the runner at first. Any over, still 0-0. Now in the fifth, Tigers have a real chance. Two on, two out for Miguel Cabrera, who normally owns Phil Hughes. He is 15 and 28 lifetime, but this time he's going to pop out to shallow center, ending the inning. Unfortunately, the Tigers' bats would continue to stay cold on the night. The first score of the game would come in the seventh for the Twins after a Kurt Suzuki single would drive in Chris Parmley and Danny Santana for the Twins, putting them up 2-0. The Tigers would make it interesting in the ninth after an Alex Avila single would drive in Austin Jackson. But that's all the Tigers would get going down 2-1 to, to the Twins in Game 1.